fourth grade. Today we're working on measuring turns in lesson 75. But before we do that, we're going to look at some different terms. We're going to look at a clock. And one of the terms that we talk about when we look at a clock is the word clockwise. And it means that we're going around the clock in the direction that the numbers go to the right. We're making the turn all the way around. The opposite direction, though, is called counterclockwise. And so it goes and starts from the top and goes 12 backwards or to the left. So when we're looking at this car right here, and we'll pretend it's Jeff Gordon and he is racing and he's making some turns and we see some directions, the direction symbols of north, west, south, and east. And then we see some different degrees, like 90 degrees be a 90 degree angle turn to the right is called a quarter turn because it is a quarter of the way around a clock or the circle. Now if he goes from north all the way to south and turns it's called a half turn because it's halfway around the circle and that is 180 degrees or 90 plus 90 makes 180. Now if he is going north and he turns around all the way and makes a full turn that's 360 degrees or 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360 degrees a full turn well now we're going to go over here and look at some word problems and we have Maria and Irina and we're going to pretend that they are driving some cars too. So I have some cars marked with an M and an A. And it says, Mari and Irina were both facing north. So we have them both facing north. And it says, Maria turned 90 degrees clockwise. Now remember, clockwise is to the right. So Maria is going to turn to the right 90 degrees. It says, and Irina turned 270 degrees counterclockwise. Now remember, counterclockwise is to the left. So Irina is going to go 90, 180, and another 90 makes 270. It says, after turning, in which directions were the girls facing? And as you can see, they're both facing the east. Let's look at another problem that we have. This time we are looking at some triangles. We have triangle one and triangle two, and then we have a point A. And it says describe the amount and the direction of a turn around point A that will position triangle two on triangle one. So we're going to just move this over so we can move it. But that is our pivot point. And it says if we move triangle two on top of triangle one. So we're going to turn it this way because that would be our pivot point to right there. So if we turn from this way to that way, we're going left, so that's counterclockwise, and the angle is a 90 degree angle, so it's counterclockwise 90 degrees, or 90 degrees counterclockwise. And that's how you do measuring turn, turns. Have a great day, guys. Bye.